Hallelujah! Jesus Generation Ministries is now in the UK. Jesus Generation Ministries, under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Nana and Yanni Boadam, has started a branch here in the UK. It's a unique word-based service fused with music. Come and your life will never be the same. For further information, call 0753 or 07940 or 020-363-28986. Alternatively, visit www.jesusgeneration.co.uk. Hello everybody, come to Jesus Generation, you have so much fun. Jesus will definitely make your life better. Come to Jesus Generation and read the Bible with Jesus. Jesus Generation Ministries, a church and a home for everyone. I'm Pastor Adam of Jesus Generation. Watch out for my new book, Words of Wisdom. Wow, Volume 1. Download the audio book or call for your copy on 0203-632-8986. Website adoenyanebwedum.org. Hear this. Words can make or break you. You can chart your life to success or failure based on the words you speak, believe in, and utilize. Life is built on words. Words can fail you or bring you down. The Bible declares that you shall have whatever you say. The Bible also declares that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Use your tongue and your mouth to profess and establish what you want to see in your life, in your work, in your career, in your aspirations. Join me in church on Sunday and hear more. God bless you. Praise God, God bless you. I'm Pastor Ado Enyane Bwedum of Jesus Generation Ministries UK and this is Leslie, my lovely wife. Viewers, welcome and may God bless you as we go into his word for further understanding and further revelation knowledge. I pray that whatsoever it is your heart is after, as we go into his word, you receive the solutions for those. The Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. As we listen into the word, as we study the word, your life will never be the same. Amen. David said, I have been young and I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous go a begging. There is nothing that you want that God will not give to you. Sit back, pick your notebook and your pens as we go into the study of the word, and I will speak to you right after the message. God bless you. Yielded up his ghost. Yielded up his ghost. He did this for you. So don't let anything fret you. This is my whole point. God came and did all this for you and I. So that no matter the state you are in, you can go to him and say, you did this for me, and therefore I cannot be tormented by the enemy. At this point, the medics would say he was clinically dead. For there was no more breath in him. Watch what happened the moment he became clinically dead. Matthew 27, 51. Watch it. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake and rocks rent. See? You see what I said? Even when he died, power and life was still working. At, he was dead. Power was working. The moment he died, the veil which was the separation between the Gentiles and the Jews, that which allowed people to go into the Holy of Holies. Bible says the veil, you know, Bible history tells us that the veil was 60 feet high. 60 feet high to the ground. That veil what? Rent in twain. It tore apart. Notice how it tore. From where? The top. To defy human critics who would have said somebody went down there and held it and started tearing it apart or cutting it. So they would have cut it from the bottom. It is 60 feet high. That one they cannot deny it. So God in his wisdom said I will rip the veil that is separating the, the Jews from the Gentiles right from the top for people to know that it is I that is doing this. The spiritual hands of God rent the veil from the top right to the bottom. Break 
breaking that wall of partition, breaking that wall of separation, giving us access to him. That's why he says, so that you can boldly come into my presence and say, Father, I am here. Hallelujah. He, you know, he, he done it. And look at what happened. The whole earth was quaking. Look at the small tsunamis that we see happening. Have you seen how many people die out of the tsunamis? Imagine that is only maybe one country or one city in a country. When he died, the whole earth had an earthquake. Imagine, so what would have been happening? The whole earth had an earthquake. Rocks started to rip. <laughs> Just splashing out because of one man's death. The moment he said, I give up my ghost, boom, the earth was just shaking. The earth cannot contain the man who has just said, I've yielded my ghost. The earth can't contain it because it's not possible. The whole world was created by him. So when he said, I'm dropping my life down, the whole earth was, you know, you know like when they said, something wants to come out. That is the power of our God. That is the power of our God. That we will have boldness. Boldness, boldness, boldness. Boldness to go. Boldness to go. Don't let anything disturb you. Trust that no matter the position you are in today, whilst listening to me, the power of God, even at death, was ripping veils and rocks apart. That power will break anything that is holding you back from receiving that which God has promised for you. That same power can make it happen for you. That same power will bring you to the place where you want to be. That same power in him will transform the things concerning you. That same power. That same power. The second thing that happened in the same verse was where the earth grew. Now look at the last, next thing that happened. What happened? And graves were opened. Graves. Just try and picture it. When I was reading the Bible and I came across it, I've, I've, we've read it so many times. I've never seen it. He says, and when he said, I dropped my life. The moment he dropped it, graves started opening. Graves. People who are dead, who were dead yesterday, the day before, three years ago, 50 years ago. Graves started what? Opening. And what happened? And many bodies of the saints which slept. Think about it. It's very deep. The power of the resurrection. We always related the power of the resurrection only to his son Jesus. But when he gave up his ghost, People who were dead in the grave, their graves started opening. And those who were the saints, Bible says, they started waking up from the dead. Think about it. They woke up from the grave. They woke up from the grave. You see, he, because he has given his ghost, the dead saints rose up. Notice what happened. When they woke up, because they woke up from their grave, they were still under the earth. You've got to picture these things, because this is the reality. They had woken up from their grave, and they were still where? Under the earth. Because when you read further, you will see it. They did not come out for any man to see them. Why? Because Jesus had not been taken off from the cross. At this point, Jesus was still hanging on the cross. He had just yielded his ghost. And people who were dead were waking up. So when you read it further, when you read further, it says, And they came out of the graves after his resurrection. Telling you that they were awake from their dead, but they stayed down there. They defiled human laws because they were in the grave. And now they have arisen. Their graves first of all had to open. And they arose from their grave. But because the ultimate Jesus was still on the tree, they had to wait down there alive 
were not dead, the sun could not suffocate them. These people were alive also. Jesus, see what God was doing. Whilst he went down into the grave himself, when they took him from the tree and put him down, at the time he was dead, down in the grave for three days, those people who rose were alive three days already, waiting for him. That's the power of our God. Power even at death. So when somebody says, Jesus has no power, they don't know what they are saying. Refer them to this scripture and tell them that even when he gave up his ghost, people arose as a result of his death. When he gave his ghost, how much more when he came up and he said, all power has been given unto me. And Bible says, and they waited in their graves, in the sun, somewhere hidden down there, three days, yet they were not suffocating and dying. And why? Because Jesus had to go and accomplish other things. Three days of serious mission. That was the finale of his mission when he came. The, that last three days, he had to enter into the heads. And then Bible says he took captivity captive. And when he took the keys, he said, I have accomplished the purpose for which my father sent me. I am now ready to take my life back again. He took it and then he came out. And those who were awake in the graves, Bible says, and they came out. And what? They went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So, you know, anything that God does is traceable. God leaves a trace so that humanity will always mouth be shut. Those who want to defile him, he will always leave a trace so that they will not say you went to a voodoo. You see, even in your life, what God is about to do for you, he will leave a trace so that when people come back to you, they will know that this is the hand of God. They will not say that it is I who made it happen for you. No, Jesus will leave you a trace and it is only you who will know that trace so that many people will know. Those who were alive, you know, their families buried them. So when they woke up, if they appear unto people, it will end the story. Of course, people will think they are ghosts, and some people will start running. But later they will understand that no, these people are awake, they are alive, because Jesus made it happen for them. God will change your situation for you today. No matter what state you are in, believe it, receive it, it is yours. Believe it, receive it, it is yours. Believe it, receive it, it is yours. If you need healing, you believe it, you receive it, it is yours. Your third day will come. The third day when Jesus arose, the third day when he arose, your third day will come. When you are praying, you must say to God, I believe it, I receive it. May my third day power activate in my life, uh, in this business, uh, may the third day power of God activate in it. Uh, in this education, may the third day power of God activate in it. Uh, in these things that I want to do, let the power of the resurrection take place in my life. Take place in my life. All things are possible with Him. God will give you a massive surprise. Hallelujah. In the eye of the public, he says, and they appeared unto many. He will make sure that what he's about to do in your life, many shall see it. Many shall see it. Many shall see it. Stay confident and positive. Continue to confess your release of the third day power. And see what God will do. Your third day power can be today. Your third day power can be now. Your third day power can be tomorrow. But what you need to do is stay focused and stay true to the word of God. And accept it, accept it that this thing is going to happen. Don't think that your situation will remain the way it is. Don't think that your situation will never change. Accept it that my situation has changed because Jesus says so. It is not the doctors that have the final word in your life. It is not the doctors that have it. It is not your teacher in school that has the final word. It is not because some teachers talk and say that this child will not make it. This child, in fact, is too, is too much. It's too much. Let's try and put him to the lower grade. So look, let it be known to you listening to me that God has the final word. And if you are listening to the words of a teacher or listening to the words of a doctor, don't let that destroy you and destroy your confidence in him. He says, I am the way. 
way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me except through the Father, the Son, Jesus. Accept Jesus in whatever state you are in because he can turn around that thing for you. He can turn it around. He can turn that child around. That child is not lost. As long as that child is living and breathing, God is about to do a miraculous thing in the life of that baby. God is about to do a miraculous thing in the life of that son or daughter. God is about to do something new. He's about to start something new in your life. So believe it. Believe it. It's never late with God. It's never late with God. Your third day will come. The power of the resurrection will come. Stay close to the word of God. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, then all this I've been talking about, you will not understand it and you will not experience it. You will not see the, the tangibility and the power in his name. The only way by which you can gain that same benefit is by accepting him as your Lord and personal Savior. It's by saying to him, Master, I surrender all to you and I give my all to you. I know I am a sinner and I have come to you. Accept me and make me a new creation. And you will experience the same power that we experience. You will experience it. Today, when you leave, leave with your head high. Be confident of this very thing, that Jesus has taken your place. He paid the price for you many years ago. He paid the price for your son, for your daughter. He paid the price for all of them. He, what, the issue that you are concerned about, God has already resolved it. Just believe it, receive it, and it will become yours. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Dear listeners, I trust God has transformed you. Stay with us with the word of God every week at the same time. Same channel and the same place and your life will never be the same again. I'm Pastor Ado of Jesus Generation. Watch out for my new book, Words of Wisdom. Wow, Volume 1. Download the audio book or call for your copy on 0203-632-8986. Website, adoenyanebwedum.org. Hear this. Words can make or break you. You can chart your life to success or failure based on the words you speak, believe in, and utilize. Life is built on words. Words can fame you or bring you down. The Bible declares that you shall have whatever you say. The Bible also declares that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Use your tongue and your mouth to profess and establish what you want to see in your life, in your work, in your career, in your aspirations. Join me in church on Sunday and hear more. God bless you. Hallelujah! Jesus Generation Ministries is now in the UK. Jesus Generation Ministries, under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Nana and Yanni Boadam, has started a branch here in the UK. It's a unique word-based service fused with music. Come and your life will never be the same. For further information, call 0753 or 07940 or 020-363-28986. Alternatively, visit www.jesusgeneration.co.uk Hello everybody, come to Jesus Generation, you have so much fun! Jesus will definitely make your life better. Come to Jesus Generation and read the Bible with Jesus! Jesus Generation Ministries UK Where lives are being changed continuously. This is a place where you can be and learn the Bible and apply it to your life. This is a place where you find peace and comfort. We look forward to seeing you. Come and fellowship with us, with Pastor Ado Anyani Buodu. Your prayer needs to change from God, God, add this thing for me, add this thing. Stop praying that God add. Begin to say, God, multiply these things for me. Multiply them. Multiply this money in my hand. This hundred pound, multiply it. Let there be the spirit of multiplication in this house so that when we go out and we come back, we come back with many. Come to Jesus Generation. You have so much fun. Jesus Generation is a fun place. Come to Jesus Generation and read the Bible with Jesus. Bye! Jesus Generation is fun! Bye! Bye everybody! Jesus 
Generation Ministries, a church and a home for everyone. I'm Pastor Ado of Jesus Generation. Watch out for my new book, Words of Wisdom, Wow, Volume 1. Download the audio book or call for your copy on 0203-632-8986. Website, adoenyanebwedum.org. Hear this. Words can make or break you. You can chart your life to success or failure based on the words you speak, believe in, and utilize. Life is built on words. Words can fail you or bring you down. The Bible declares that you shall have whatever you say. The Bible also declares that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Use your tongue and your mouth to profess and establish what you want to see in your life, in your work, in your career, in your aspirations. Join me in church on Sunday and hear more. God bless you. Jesus Generation Ministries, a church and a home for everyone. 
Hallelujah! Jesus Generation Ministries is now in the UK. Jesus Generation Ministries, under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Nana and Yanni Boadam, has started a branch here in the UK. It's a unique word-based service fused with music. Come and your life will never be the same. For further information, call 0753 or 07940 or 020-363-28986. Alternatively, visit www.jesusgeneration.co.uk. Hello everybody, come to Jesus Generation, you have so much fun. Jesus will definitely make your life better. Come to Jesus Generation and read the Bible with Jesus. Jesus Generation Ministries UK. Where lives are being changed continuously. This is a place where you can be and learn the Bible and apply it to your life. This is a place where you will find peace and comfort. We look forward to seeing you. Come and fellowship with us, with Pastor your prayer needs to change from God, God, add this thing for me, add this thing. Stop praying that God add. Begin to say, God, multiply these things for me. Multiply them. Multiply this money in my hand. This hundred pound, multiply it. Let there be the spirit of multiplication in this house so that when we go out and we come back, we come back with many. Come to Jesus Generation. You have so much fun. Jesus Generation is a fun place. Come to Jesus Generation and read the Bible with Jesus. Bye! Jesus Generation is fun! Bye, Bye everybody! Jesus Generation Ministries, a church and a home for everyone.